I am Mandy Simons. I'm a recruiter with Atlas MedStaff, um, and I am a former L&D traveler. I'm Olivia Jarvis. I am a former Atlas MedStaff travel nurse as well as a recruiter, and I am a former whole hospital float pool traveler. This Olivia. will be my fourth or fifth time going to TravCon, second time as a recruiter, uh, second or third time as a nurse. I went for the first time as a nurse, I think in 2018. Both times as a traveler, I did do the full conference. So I got my CEUs, got my search renewed, and got to see some of the cool things. Like I remember one of the ones that stuck out to me was travel nursing in Alaska. Another one was like cruise ship nursing. So there is some cool stuff there and some seminars on things that aren't your day-to-day -day normal travel nursing that are interesting and actually worth it to sit through. As a recruiter, it's super different um, because we are there you know, to work and to take care of our nurses is the main thing, make sure everybody's safe. So I am a lot more low key now than I used to be when I was a travel nurse going. Um, I never made it as a traveler. It was always my intention, but I always forgot to make sure that I had the time off approved. <laughs> so it never worked out. Um, so I went last year as a recruiter with Atlas and I'm going back this year as a recruiter with Atlas. I didn't really know what to expect. I mean, I had heard about it obviously as a traveler, as you do, like, you know, that it's a thing that happens in Vegas every year and that it can be a little bit wild. I think nurses in general need to let off some steam <laughs> and release some stress. So I think Vegas is a nice place to get everyone together. Um, but yeah, so this will be my second year going back and I am super excited. So for a couple different reasons, I had never been to Vegas before TravCon. So that was my first time in Vegas. So I didn't really know what to expect. So I think the first time was really cool because the agencies had pre-planned events. So you knew about things that you didn't necessarily know about. Like the stratosphere was one where an agency had had an event. I probably never would have went to the stratosphere if it wasn't for that agency because it's way on the end of the strip. But it's exploring new things in a new place. I think it's a great place to network and recruiters aren't looking to recruit you necessarily while they're there. Um, it's more of a conversation piece and you're in a conference hall of a hundred plus different companies and you can kind of pick and choose and get that face time with some of those recruiters to see who best fits you. I think on the other side of that is the educational standpoint. You kind of get, if you are going to the conference, you get the most bang for your buck because you can renew certifications like ACLS, BLS, PALS, TNCC. Um, you can get some CEU hours, or at least you could in previous years when I went. Um, for attending those seminars and doing some of those things so you can get stuff towards your license. Um, and then reality is it's fun. Like you can make it as crazy or as relaxed as you want it to be. You can participate in an event pretty much almost every hour of the day, or you can, you know, pop in and out of events throughout the conference and, you know, make it a relaxing vacation. I think the reality is anybody who's traveled for long enough, your life is chaos regularly we're used to it um but it's kind of getting to settle down and either making it a time to get wild and have some fun or relax one of the nice things though i think about TrapCon is just the ability for different age ranges to still enjoy yourself like i think there's a common misconception that you have to be 25 and ready to party to go to TravCon. and i've seen people who bring their families who are you know more of the older generation of travelers that have just as much fun it's just catering your experience to what you want when i first started traveling i was with adam collette who is still a recruiter with atlas we are still very close i love him to death um but one of the things that i liked is we had some freedom um in not so many contained events like we had the regular scheduled events but one evening i it was pre-TravCon conference, but the weekend prior, but there was nothing going on that night. So we had decided to go to the Michael Jackson um, one show. And then after that, we went out to some of the casinos on Fremont Street, which I had never really experienced. I'm not a gambler. I was not a gambler. I've, I've learned to like blackjack as I get older. Um, but I remember there was like 
five or six of us out with him and another recruiter and it was just very one-on-one -on -one time and we got to have a lot of fun like I remember we played craps and I have never played craps in my life had no idea what I was doing um, but Adam and the other recruiter kind of guided us and it was a lot of fun like it was a way that didn't feel forced that we could interact with each other and it was also a small enough group that you didn't easily get lost in the crowd and you had the opportunity to meet some other travelers that maybe were different specialties in different parts of the country um, that you wouldn't normally meet but you can make some friends that way so it is nice especially if you're going by yourself or just with one other person there's not the pressure of, oh my gosh, are we going to spend the whole time talking about my next contract? It had nothing to do with that. It was kind of Adam's way to give back to his nurses and to just have some fun. We did a lot of really fun events. I'm excited that we're doing a couple of them again this year. Um, the pool party was really fun. It was, I feel like if you're going to be in Vegas, you have to hang out by the pool. So that was really fun. Um, the NFL party, I was surprised at how much I enjoyed that. I'm, you know, I'm not really like a big uh, football diehard. I don't have a team or anything, but it was really nice. It was just a nice environment and like super laid back and people just kind of came and went and stopped in throughout their day. Um, so that was really fun and a good way to kind of just like chat with people and it was low key and wasn't like Vegas. <laughs> it, was, it was a little bit more chill. Um, and then yeah. the other thing that was really fun last year was the high roller and we're doing that again. So that'll be, um, fun. Nice views. Yeah. Beautiful sunset views. Beautiful sunset views. <laughs> yeah. I am excited to just get a talk to everyone. We did, I mean, obviously we got to meet people and, um, like with the pre-events last year, but unless you were kind of in the know about them um, and had been connected with an Atlas recruiter in the past, you didn't necessarily know those were going on. Um, so it'll be fun this year just to get a, we're the first booth, I think, right when you walk in the door. So we'll get to see everyone. <laughs> um, but just to get to like meet people and talk to people and um, also to get to hang out with the, all the recruiters that are going. It's fun to hang out with our Atlas family when we're all remote and don't get to see each other all the time. We're excited to see everyone come stop by the booth, um, reach out and get a hold of us and let us know what kind of pre-conference uh, activities you want to get on, in on. Um, and we'll see you guys in Vegas. Guys, I'm excited to see you. Stop by the desk talk to us wherever um but most importantly make sure you reach out to us before you can reach out to us on social media you can send us an email anything to get involved we know a lot of people don't go with a big group so feel free to reach out to us we're happy to take you on